In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use keyboard shortcuts with the YouTube player in the browser so that you can be more productive watching YouTube. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech, my name's Alec. Now that introduction may have seen a little bit of a contradiction in terms really, being productive on YouTube, but of course you can be because uh, if you are like me and like watching tutorial videos, and uh, well, I'm guessing you do because you're on my channel after all, uh, then you may do what I do, which is when I'm trying to learn a new piece of software, then I'll tend to have YouTube open on one screen or one side of the screen, uh, and then I'll have the software that I'm trying to learn open on the other. And I'll be referring back and forth to the YouTube video and then to what what I'm doing uh, and so uh, what I'll often find myself doing is having to pause and rewind and review things because sometimes with me it takes a takes a couple of times for the information to sink in <laughs> um, so um, one thing that came up in the I think it was the Ecamm group or if not it might have been Doc Rock's office hours group uh, but it was the question of how can you quickly scrub back and forth through the uh, the video when you're on the desktop because on the uh, the mobile obviously you can double tap on the side of the screen to skip forward and skip backwards uh, but on the desktop um, then people tend to use their mouse. Now, a lot of people don't realize that there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts built into YouTube. And in fact, e uh, Google is very good at including keyboard shortcuts for all of their web apps. So whether it's Gmail or uh, Google Sheets and things like that, there are extensive support for shortcuts. So definitely check out all of those. But today we're talking specifically about YouTube. So uh, let me tell you the shortcuts that are there are available and then also how I, uh, I use them because uh, you might have guessed I've uh, added keyboard maestro into the mix as well and I'll tell you why in a moment but first let's have a look at the uh, keyboard shortcuts so first of all that is the wrong screen <laughs> first of all here are the uh, keyboard shortcuts we'll come to that screen in a moment uh, <laughs> spoiler alert you're going to be seeing two of me so uh, apologies for that you might want to uh, switch off now <laughs> uh, so these are the keyboard shortcuts that we've got for um, YouTube and so basically you've got uh, play and pause to toggle that on and off and it's just the keystroke of K we've also got rewind and forward 10 seconds which is J and L uh, previous video next video and so on and as you can see there are quite a few of them uh, and for quite a few ways actually to skip to different places in the tr in the uh, the video. So for example, if you type the keystroke either zero through to nine, uh, it will skip to that area of the uh, the video. So zero being the beginning, uh, one being ten percent of the way through, five being halfway through, nine being ninety percent of the way through and so forth so on uh, and then you've also got to skip forward and backwards to different chapters so if the uh, creator has been very good and put in their YouTube chapters then you can skip straight to a specific chapter as well and uh, we've also got ways to toggle the particular view so whether it's full screen picture in picture that sort of thing uh, and then we've also got some for closed captions and then also the uh, spherical video, which uh, I don't tend to watch a great deal of myself. But if you are watching one of those ones that was shot in uh, basically with a uh, 360 degree camera, it's actually more than 360, isn't it? Because it's a spherical <laughs> sphere, but still it is. Uh, you've got the controls there for panning up and down and so on. And those are all uh, assigned to keystrokes as well uh, however there is a slight issue with this because if you are doing what I was talking about earlier which is I'm working on something but I've got YouTube playing separately so maybe I'm watching a tutorial or maybe I've just got YouTube playing in the background or something like that then uh, the issue that I have is that obviously the browser isn't the frontmost application uh, and so what that means is that uh, if I just click the keystroke for example K being to play or pause uh, then it won't do anything because the browser isn't at the front so what I needed to do was make sure that I could control my browser and YouTube uh, whilst I was in another application and keyboard maestro is perfect for that so let me just show you the uh, sort of methodology to uh, to do that with keyboard maestro I'll just uh, share the right part of my screen now <laughs> So here we go, we've got uh, Keyboard Maestro open. Uh, and basically I've cre recreated uh, almost all of those controls. The only ones that I didn't recreate actually were the spherical video ones because I don't really use spherical video that much. And if I do, uh, I'm not so keen on uh, or not so interested in being able to control it whilst I'm in another app. I just can't see where that would come up for me personally. Uh, but I did create all of the uh, other ones and I will run through all of these when I show you them uh, on the stream deck. Um, but uh, just to show you the method that I've done for, uh, I've used for all of these, you can see there's one for each of the commands. Uh, and basically in each of these commands, there is only uh, actually one action there's in uh, Keyboard Maestro. 
And by the way, if you're not familiar with Keyboard Maestro, I have done an introduction to it, so I'll leave the video up in the, uh, the top corner. Um, but basically, uh, there's no trigger because we're going to be triggering them by the Stream Deck, and for that you don't actually need to assign a separate keyboard trigger in Keyboard Maestro. Uh, but then all we've got is the actual action that is going to be performed, uh, and all it is is typing a keystroke. Now let me just show you quickly how to set this up, because uh, you can, if you just come into uh, New Action and then just start typing keystroke, you'll find it there, type a keystroke. Now ordinarily uh, it's going to simulate that keystroke in whatever application that you are in, and so you can see here the, uh, the title of it is it says type the return keystroke, because it's got return in there, or if I clicked in there and typed, I don't know, say K, it would type in K but that is going to do it in the frontmost application and what we want to do is we want to actually do this in in my case it's Safari so you can see that here there's a difference between these two this is the default one that I've just added in but the one I've got here actually says type the keystroke K to Safari because if you click on this little cogwheel over on this side, uh, what you can do is you can come down here and you can actually assign it to a specific application. So if I come down on this menu, you can see send to, and then we've basically got a list of applications. So I can set, say send to Safari. And what that means is uh, now that I've got that set, it doesn't matter what application I'm in, it is gonna send that keystroke through to that other application, which in my case is Safari. So what that means is, let's say I'm doing something in uh, an application, maybe watching an Excel tutorial or something like that. So I've got Excel open and I've got my YouTube video running with the tutorial. Uh, then if I activate this, uh, this one here, it's actually gonna pause the video, but it's gonna pause it uh, in the background if you like. So I don't need to have it as the frontmost application. So uh, just to quickly show you that <laughs> in case it needed demonstrating, I've now got a video open and if I uh, come back to Keyboard Maestro, so I'm in Keyboard Maestro and if I activate that macro, you can see it's pausing and playing this video and I can do other ones. So I can do the one for, let's say I'll try the one for uh, advancing the frame or maybe go to, let's go to 40% of the video. There is a macro which is basically gonna simulate typing the letter uh, number four. So if I click that one, then it's jump forward straight ahead to uh, the position in the video. So that is basically how these work and they all work, as I say, just totally in the background. Now what I did do was I, uh, surprisingly enough, I created, <laughs> as you might have guessed, a Stream Deck profile to do just this. So if I uh, come over to my Stream Deck, and uh, that is the wrong one, <laughs> hang on a minute, I'll come to this one, there we go. That is the uh, the correct one. I get my Stream Deck up to the front. How disorganized of me. <laughs> so I created this Stream Deck profile. Now in actual in the in the actual profile, this uh, one here, this is going to take me back to my uh, Take One Tech one that I'm using to control Ecamm with. But in the actual profile itself, uh, this is actually a record button that uh, goes through to, uh, oh sorry, a YouTube button rather that uh, opens up Safari with YouTube in it. So it's kind of like the way to activate YouTube if you like. Uh, and so I created all of these uh, icons. Uh, and so let's just quickly run through what we've got here. So uh, the first one we've got is um, the, uh, in fact, let me start at this side, shall I? <laughs> uh, the first one we've got is the um, the different viewing modes. So you've basically got view in full screen, uh, view in theater mode, view in the, uh, the pop out. So it's just a sort of picture in picture in the browser. Uh, the mini player it's called uh, and these three are all basically toggles so pressing those will toggle it either on or off and like reverting back to the regular view. Uh, this one here is if you've got the uh, the mini player open uh, then basically clicking this one will just close it down altogether so you just back into the uh, the general sort of YouTube there uh, so it will effectively stop the video. We've also then got the uh, the play and pause button uh, then we've got jump forward and backwards 10 seconds so that's kind of skip forward. Also got the next and previous video uh, when you are paused, you also have the ability to advance by a single frame. This is really useful, actually, if you're if there's if you're watching stuff that's quite uh, uh, text heavy or content heavy, or maybe they're giving demonstrations of something specific where you want to get some information out of it. Uh, then being able to pause it and then just sort of skip forward or backwards a, a frame or two just to get to the exact correct spot. Uh, maybe if you want to take a screen grab or something like that, then that is uh, useful. Uh, we've also got these ones here where it looks like a, uh, hopefully it looks like a timeline with some markers on it. Well, this is basically skip forwards and backwards to the uh, uh, next and the previous uh, chapter marker. 
Uh, and then we've also got these ones here, these 10 uh, going up in increments of 10%. This is basically skipping forward to a specific spot on the timeline. So zero being at the beginning, uh, obviously 50% being halfway through and so on. So those are just simulating those keystrokes of zero through uh, nine. Uh, then also we've got some related to the uh, closed captions here. So this is toggling the captions on and off. We've got this one here, which is uh, simulating the uh, <laughs> the transparency. So you can t toggle the uh, the transparency of the actual text that's coming up. Uh, so this one, you can see that one of the letters there, maybe you can't see it too well, <laughs> has got the uh, the sort of checker pattern that symbolizes uh, transparency in graphics. Uh, and then this one here has got the uh, checker pattern on the background, and that is to signify that you can change the transparency of the background of your captions as well. And final two here we've got relating to captions are increasing the size or decreasing the size of the uh, the writing, so font size. Uh, and then the final one here is just toggling on and off the mute on the video as well. Uh, I've also uh, added a couple in here for the uh, the speed as well. So when you're watching YouTube videos, you can obviously, uh, I say obvious, perhaps you didn't know, you can increase the speed of the playback uh, and that goes up in increments of I think 0.25 or something like that. So one and a half speed, one, one and a quarter speed, double speed and so on. Uh, so I often do uh, watch things at double speed if I can uh, <laughs> take in the information quick enough. Uh, and so uh, that's what those two are just there. So this is an, uh, a complete icon set and as you can see it is actually triggering a macro so these aren't using keystrokes as in just the built-in keystrokes on uh, on Stream Deck where you can actually have them go to uh, system and simulate a uh, keystroke so it's not that one. Uh, what this is is this is using a plugin called KM Link so if I come down to here we've got this KM Link down here. Uh, and this is a, a plugin. There is a keyboard maestro plugin for Stream Deck, but I find that KM Link is actually a lot easier to uh, to use and set up. And it's just basically all it does is you drag it on as an action uh, and then you just select the particular keyboard maestro action that you want it to run. Uh, and so in order to uh, enable this, then what you'd have to do is just come into the uh, the store. Um, go into the uh, the plugins and then just search for KM link. So if I just come in here for a second, KM link, you will find it in there. There you go. So uh, you just need to install that, but then you can basically just go and assign that to uh, assign your actions to any specific macro that you want. So I've uh, obviously made this uh, available on my store. So if I uh, just come over to my store for a moment, <laughs> uh, in fact, I've got to come over to my website. Look at that. I've actually closed it down. That was a bit silly of me, wasn't it? So if I uh, come back to my uh, my website for a moment, uh, so if you go over to takeonetech.io uh, slash store or you can just come over to the home page and click on the store up at the top uh, and then you'll see it there. And so that is the YouTube player icon pack. Uh, now what I've done is I've actually created um, rather than just the icons, although it has obviously got the icons in it. What I've also done is uh, when you uh, get the download, uh, then that's basically got all of the icons. So you can create uh, these yourself on a stream deck um, or on your loop deck for that matter and just use the these icons yourself assigning the, uh, the you know the relevant keyboard shortcuts but what I've also done is I've also included the um, the mac uh, macro uh, group for keyboard maestro as well so if you import that into your keyboard maestro uh, you'll then be able to uh, just hook it straight up to stream deck because I've included the profile there as well uh, and so if you've got the 32 key XL it actually fits perfectly on there um, and so basically you need to just install the macro pack in keyboard maestro which I'll show you how to do in a moment insert the uh, the profile install the profile on your stream deck which I'll show you in a moment and then that's it you're good to go uh, now the only uh, one other thing I should point out is that in my case, as I say, I do use my uh, uh, YouTube with Safari. So uh, when I come down to my keyboard maestro uh, actions here, you can see that basically all of these are opening in Safari. If you use Google Chrome, uh, you would need to just go through and change this uh, application to instead of opening in Safari, you would just come down here and go to send to uh, Chrome or whatever browser you are using. But the keystrokes, the actual shortcuts themselves are all exactly the same. So that is how uh, how that would work. So let's have a little look, shall we, at how you actually install the, uh, the macro uh, group into Keyboard Maestro. Uh, so what I'll need to do for this is I'll need to come into my demo mode for a moment uh, and then I'll just zoom into this top corner and then here we can do to uh, file uh, import 
uh, import actions. And so you just click on that one uh, and then that would just bring up the regular file picker and you'd be able to then uh, uh, select the macro group and it would just install them straight away into your keyboard maestro. Nothing more for you to do there. Then in terms of the uh, Stream Deck, uh, if I come into uh, Stream Deck, if you want to install a profile in Stream Deck, what you need to do is come over to the uh, settings, click on the settings, come over to here, uh, and then where you've got your profiles, uh, you'll find there's a little drop down arrow just at the bottom of the profiles list. Click on this one and then you'll see there's an option there to import and then you'll do the same again. Just import the profile from the uh, the download from the website uh, and then that would then bring that into your Stream Deck and then literally you would be uh, good to go with that. So I hope that is useful. Now, Obviously, I am making the icon pack available for sale on my website, but you can just go ahead and do this yourself. And if you don't need all of these icons, then it's just good to learn these keyboard shortcuts because you might find you only need one or two of them. Uh, and so you can uh, perhaps just make your own little uh, shortcuts in Stream Deck or just use the keyboard uh, itself. Uh, but like I say, I do hope that is useful. And if it was useful, then uh, don't forget to go and like and subscribe. Uh, and while you're down there, then also leave a comment or two as well, because I do always enjoy getting your comments and feedback. And if it was really useful, then you can always head over to my Buy Me A Coffee page at buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech. Uh, so that is all for now, but I will leave a link to some of my other Stream Deck videos over on the right hand side. And uh, YouTube will handpick a video just for you up in the uh, top right there. So until the next video, have a great day.